up YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite today, and this is my latest charity shop haul. <laughs> What up YouTube? How you doing? It's me. It's me. It's your favourite today. No, I'm not going to do that again. Um, this is a charity shop haul that I got from... Bilston, was it? Yeah, I think so. Not that anybody that's not from my area would give two tosses. But yeah, I got all this from Bilston. And they were all on... Thursday? Friday. Friday. On Friday. I'm going to go with Friday. No, it was Thursday. It was Thursday. Um, yeah. I spent £60 in total, including bus fare. I always include it. And I save all my own bus tickets for um, Mr. Taxman. Um, but yeah. Did alright. I want to go through what I spent. What I hope to get back. And that's about it. So, right, we'll start. There is a few. Nothing. Right, I've got to this thing now where nothing is a dud. Nothing is a dud anymore. I'm still going to try and, try and make money on it. But we'll go through the duds first. Right. Um, well, this isn't a dud. Picked up some blank tapes. Um, always seen people on about blank video tapes or whatever go for all right money. Um, never really caught any before. Um found these. Uh, these cost me one ninety nine. I think they sell for about 12 Um Next, if you can't tell, if you can see his eyes there, this is Duke. Um, I only found out his name is Duke. I just, I've watched the film loads of times with the kids um, from Secret Life of Pets. Um, I thought there'd be more money in this. It cost £1.50. He's a bit rough looking. Um, I'm going to shoot for a fiver. I'm not going to get any more than that. But as I'm learning lately with um, all the promos and um, auctions that I'm doing lately, money's money, you feel me? So yeah, pound fifteen to a fiver for that. Um, next was this little bundle of Hulk figures. This cost me two quid. Um, I only pulled it out because it had a Hulk Funko in there. I was going to keep it for myself, but I've already got it. <laughs> she has to pay attention. Um... But it's got four Hulk figures in there. That fun car by itself will go for about six. So I'm just going to shoot for a tenner for that bundle. Um, next. Oop. Next is this Lint um, Bunny. Um, this cost me £2.50. I thought there'd be more money in it. Um, but there isn't. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. I just thought. I didn't even do any research into it. I just thought, oh, Lint. Lint, um, Lint Bunny. There's got to be more money in it. But there isn't so yeah limp bunny uh cost me two pound fifty i'm just going to shoot for six to get rid of it should sell over easter hopefully um next this was a bit of a weird pickup for me i was just scanning stuff in the charity shop um this cost me a fiver it is a sorry i've got a little bit of high fever um this is a is it me reader it's all sealed hasn't come out of the box from what i can tell um but it's in french I uh, looked it up, they've sold for about 20 quid, even if it's going over to France. So I am going to shoot for 20 quid, cost me a fiver. Um, next, these are all in the same pack, and I wish I'd picked. Um, I've had a Thomas the Tamp bundle up in the loft for ages, which I haven't been able to get rid of. But I have picked up these, um, is it Take and Play? I think it's Take and Play, yeah. Take and Play Thomas the Tank things, you can always tell them. Um, they've got the magnets on the end, but if you can, you know, if you find a bag of them in a charity shop, this all together cost me three quid. I'll get twenty back on them trains alone, and I've learnt by finding that in there as well. This is a Chuggington train, Brewster. His name is eh? Look at me doing research and ting. Um, Brewster. His name is. Um, he. He goes for a tenner by itself, which I'm shocked. And there was other Chuggington trains in the shop as well, but I was like, Chugging. I was like, I don't even know what that is. You know what I mean? I was like, Chuggy who? Chubby? Stubby? Well, I don't know. It's all about Thomas, you know what I mean? Back in my day, Tom, Thomas the Tank was repping fam. Chuggington. 
Chugging to wasn't even. Chugging to was a glint in my dad's eye, you feel me? Chugging to. But anyway, chugging to this for a tenner, or Brewster. And then the rest of that will go for 20, so 3 quid into 30. You are going to complain, am you? Next, um, it was funny. I was going around Bolston and I'd realised I hadn't looked on any of the bookshelves, so I went through all the charity shops again, went through the bookshelves looking for anime books. And uh, believe it or not, I bumped into these. Um, I've sold I sold some anime books, was it for 40 the other week? I um, can't remember the title. But I had um, the first seven volumes of this sold for £10. And then I saw that a charity shop had all 24 and a special editions book on the top. Um, somebody's trying for 24 volumes abroad, trying to go for um, 70 some odd quid. Um, they've sold for around 50 a little bit over 50 all abroad, all like, you know, sideways slanting prices, or sold prices. I'm going to shoot for 65 Feck it. You only live once, do you? So I'm going to shoot for 65 I paid 15 for these. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, I sold those anime books, there's no way I would have invested £15 maybe two, three months ago into books. But, hey, uh, I did. So yeah, 15 quid, going to try and go for 65 on them. So yeah, that is the end. So, Andy Robinson, see you in a bit. Now we're on to clothing. Right, I have, there's, which you, you know I was on about, uh, maybe, maybe I was on about it in a vlog, but I've been going to Dudley lately, and Dudley's been like, you know, they've had some good shiz um, that I've been picking up. Bilston, to be fair, Bilston, the rep for me hasn't been fantastic when I've been going. Um, oh, as while I've been going, somebody just mentioned me in a comment. Um, but um, there's a charity shop in Bilston. I can't remember what it's called. Is it St Giles or something? I don't know. But they have a everything else is basically around the same price, one, two, three pound, and then they have a rack that they put all their expenses stuff on. So I've been checking out that rack, and the rack with the expensive stuff on. <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was that was really shallow and sexy stuff. Me, I apologise. Um, but yeah, so this this rail um, has has got expensive stuff on, and these were on there. I've sold um, these kind of leather biker trousers before. Um, I think the last, um, my highest profit that I've ever made on something was leather biker trousers. It was for 80 quid, I think, or something. These don't go for as much, um, Riker, or the prices come down, whatever. But the average price is around 50 quid. Um, some like these had sold for around 30, but biker trousers are going for about 50, so I'm going to shoot for 50 on them. Um, next... I've been struggling on this. Picked it up. It's a padded shirt, or like a a wall lined shirt. It's not. A, it says polyer. I don't know. It says if you look at the label, thirty percent, thirty five percent cotton, sixty five percent polyester. So I don't know whether that's a wall on the inside. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Cost me three quid. Cannot find these shirts anywhere. When I'm searching Oxford on, um, on eBay. All kind of shirts coming up, Paolo, Ralph, Loren, loads of stuff, and I'm like, oh no, I'm looking for a shirt, Oxford, the brand Oxford, um, but I can't seem to find a price, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on that, but that cost me three. Um, next, this this is a Guinness, I'm guessing it's like a rugby top kind of thing, um, looks like it anyway. Uh, this cost me two of my English pounds, uh, should get about 12 back on that one. Um, now this one has surprised me. This is a Kurt Cobain Nirvana um, The Rocks t-shirt. Now I thought when I picked it up and I took it out, I was like, sake, but why have I wasted my money on that um, type of thing? 
why have I wasted my money on that type of thing? I was like, ugh. Um, but this cost me two quid. Um, and when I've looked it up, the Rocks t-shirt with Nirvana Kurt Cobain, one sold for like 70, I'm not going to go for 70 quid, but it sold for 70 quid abroad, 15 quid in the UK, so I'm going to shoot for 15. I'm not going to go for 70 or anywhere near that, because it is in a pretty, not the best condition top. But I was surprised, I thought it was going to be a dud, I thought it was like one of these kind of market stall, um, you know, rock t-shirts, but yeah, I'm going to shoot for 15 and that cost me two. And last, probably least, Ashworth golf t-shirt, polo shirt, wouldn't see me dead wearing it, um, but it had a tag on, it cost me £5.50 and I should get about, only 12 on that, I thought I'd get more, but only 12 But yeah, if anyone, I don't like asking for help, but if anyone knows that brand Oxford, please comment down below. So yeah, that was my charity shop haul for um, Thursday, I think. Uh, I went, um, I did pop to the car boot today, um, I wasn't going to go, and then I woke up at five this morning and thought, feck it, go on, um, it was, it wasn't that good again, um, yeah, if Matt's watching, I was going to get in touch, but it was a last minute, and it wasn't that good, mate, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, I might do a little video out of that, not much there, but, um, I'm not sourcing anything now until I'm back from holiday, or actually until after Bristol, because I'll go on holiday next week, and then it's Bristol the weekend after, so, whoosh, so for now, peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I'll see you in my next video, bye bye.